So this is Tella and she came into World Horse Welfare in October 2021 and she came in after a request of help um, via her owners and it's really quite a, quite a sad story actually. She, her owner saved up quite a lot of money to buy herself her first horse, first pony, as a young adult and spent quite a lot of money. I think she paid uh, about £1,400 for Teller and had bought her online. When Teller came off the lorry from the person that had delivered her, she was actually dripping milk and so there was a conversation that took place about you know why that was and the information provided to the new owner was that she'd actually had a foal weaned off her not too long ago which accounted for why there was milk coming away from her at that time but after the delivery had taken place and then a couple of weeks down the line it became clear that there was more that needed investigating and after a vet visit it became apparent that she was in foal and of course with that goes the scenario of can you provide both in terms of resources, you know, time and finances for a mare and foal when that wasn't what you were expecting. In addition to that, um, there was concern over the size of the foal that, that Teller was going to have and we can see today that she's um, really, really big and very, very close now to having her foal, um, which is great for her, but it, it you know, it's... Uh, it is a situation you have to put a lot of thought into because this is going to be uh, likely to be a big fall and so that's it's potentially may come with implications for her and as an owner you then have to start to think about if there's a problem with foaling, what costs are going to be associated with that? What are the risks for her, for the foal? And is that something that you know I'm going to be able to manage and deal with? Um, in this instance, happily, we were able to um, offer that assistance and that help to that owner to make sure that her welfare is secure um, and that we're in a position to give her all of the things that she will need when, when the time comes that she foals. And that's where World Horse Welfare as a charity are sometimes able to step in and help help um, because we will have that expertise, we will have the finances and we will have the facility to be able to help a pony like Teller. Thank goodness we, we are but that's because of the support that we get from our, our supporters at World Horse Welfare so we're very lucky to be able to offer that facility you know because of the people that support us from the public point of view. She uh, had very bad skin. She was suffering uh, from quite painful build-up of hard skin on the back of her knees. There's a lot of debate about why cobs get this. Um, some people think it's to do with mites, um, but we're just here to treat the problem. You can see uh, now that it's still a bit sore, um, but it was really scabby, really thick, dead skin, um, and she's had her legs clipped to help deal with that. She gets weekly baths um, just to keep them nice and clean and then she has a special cream as well to help. When she first arrived she was uh, not very good at picking up her feet. She found it really uncomfortable uh, whether that was just because she hadn't done a lot of it before or because of uh, this painful condition in her legs. But now she's a really good girl. Uh, She's obviously expecting a foal imminently, which we're very excited about. Um, she's had foals before, we don't know how many, but she'll be a good mum, we think. Hello. So we're hoping Tella's going to have her foal any day now. Um, she'll then be with us until the foal is weaned, so that's usually about six months. Um, and then she's actually got some sarcoids on the inside of her legs so they'll need treating and that can take a little while um, but hopefully once all that's 
sorted and her foals weaned, then she'll be ready for rehoming. Um, it's likely she'll be a companion, but she hasn't really been assessed yet for, for that. We're just dealing with um, the, the first things, her foal and her skin and her uh, sarcoids. Good girl. So hers was uh, quite a sad story. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't her owner's uh, fault at all that she ended up here. Um, so we just feel really lucky that she's made her way here and she hasn't just been sold on, ridden when she was heavily in foal, uh, not had any of her conditions treated because they are quite complex. So it's really nice that she's found her way here and she's going to have a safe future and so will her foal. So I think, you know, probably my take home message for buyers out there, in, especially in relation to Teller's case, is, you know, really do your homework when you're looking to go out into the marketplace and buy yourself a horse or pony. Um, the internet is a great tool and it offers us lots, lots of opportunities to do homework, not just potentially about the horse, but the person that's selling it. Um, there will be people who, who will tell you that they've had success buying a horse or pony online or without seeing it first. I'm sure there are people out there with those success stories. However, the risk of doing that far outweighs those small number of success stories. So my advice would be always go and see the horse to make sure it is what you're looking for. And there's also nothing wrong with, with asking for references from the person who's selling it. Yeah, the market at the moment for buying horses is still really buoyant. Um, but I think coupled with that, I would say, don't just assume that if you're in the market to, to buy a, or rehome a, a new horse or pony, don't just focus on the, the market that's selling them. Lots of the charities have really appealing horses and ponies that are available for rehoming. Different charities will offer them in, in different methods. World Horse Welfare has a loan scheme um, which we offer how we rehome all our horses and ponies. So always have a look at our website and see if there's something on there that catches your eye that's going to fit the bill. 